Hello, my sweet babies. How's everyone doing today? I guess I'm doing all right. Okay, today we're going to be doing Christmas ornaments. Okay, because we did Halloween last time. But first, I wanted to show Miss Debbie Jo. Miss Debbie Jo, you asked me about the chili pepper mica powder. Was it a hot pink? Okay, I made some ornaments. So you could see when it dries, it's more of a red. It's more of a red, see? Now, it does have a pink hue. You see the pink in there? It does have a pink hue. So I don't know if this is the color you're looking for, but this is what it looks like when it dries, when it cures, when the resin cures. That's the color. Okay? Just wanted to show you, baby. And then here's another one. Now see, you can see just a, barely a pink hue in there. It does have it. But it's not hot pink, baby doll. See? Mm-hmm. So anyway, now... I made this. This is just with alcohol ink. And I just poured resin in there and let it cure. I love it. I think it's so pretty. And then I made this one. Cute. Is that not just the cutest? So, let me tell you what I did. I cut my little thing of dangies off. Now, don't throw them away, honeys. Don't throw them away. Keep them. Because let me tell you why. You can use these for spacers. If you make jewelry, you can use them for spacers in between your beads. Mm-hmm. Sure can. There you are. Got your little spacer. What in the mess? Okay. I'm just putting mine in the jar, in a little jar. I'm saving them in case I want to make some jewelry. Got that. Now, this one is a little thick. So, I don't know how well this one's going to cut. Oh, yeah, it cut pretty good. There we are. There's your spacer. See, that one's thicker. See how thick that is? Yeah, baby. Tell me now. We're going to get with the video in a minute. I promise. I'm just going to cut these off, put them in this little jar. Now, for the ones who watched my video on my blessing box, that Miss Stacy sent me. Y'all remember there was some that mesh rope in there, right? Okay, Miss Debbie, there it is. Now look, here's a bead. See the color it dries to? It does have a pink. It's got a pink to it, but it's not hot pink. Okay? So anyway, put that in my little thingy dingy over there. And I'm gonna cover this up. And now I got me some little spacers that okay now what we're gonna do baby dolls let me tell you yesterday i came in here and i don't know something just hit me with these um light bulb molds they're gorgeous i love these light bulb molds so i made a shaker ornament now if y'all want to know how i made it i don't have enough oil in it i'm gonna have to go back in there and put some more oil in it because they don't want to shake around too good but anyway, it worked. Look at that. A shaker ornament. Ain't that gorgeous? Let me know if you want to know how I made it. I'll do a video on it. Okay? So, now then, let's get to the star of the show. We're going to be doing the light bulb molds. Okay? And we're going to be doing Christmas ornaments. Now, let me tell you what I did. I took the mesh rope and I measured around in my coaster. I'm not, I don't know if this is going to work, honey. I don't know. This might float out. I, I'm just, I'm hoping it'll work because I think it's pretty. And then I took some ornaments that I made and I put it in the middle. This one right here is a Santa. It's got the Santa candy in it and the Santa, little Santa heads. Now this one right here has got some little stars in it. Miss, uh, Miss Annette sent me these. It's like all kind of little little findings off in there. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's wrong with the camera today, but anyway, that's what in, is in that one. Okay? Then, this one, I just, um, I dusted it with that hollow, hollow stuff. Oh, Lord. 
Y'all know what I'm talking about. And I put black fingernail polish on the back. And look at it. Ain't that pretty? Oh, that is so pretty. So, that's going off up in there. And then I made this one. Now, I made this one with the little, with the stuff that Miss Annette sent me. And it has some little stars in it. Look at those stars. And I put a flower in the middle. Look at that pretty. Now, if y'all want to know how I made these, let me know. I'll do a video on that too, baby. We'll just video down. Show sure will. We will video down, babies. I'm just going to guesstimate that it's the middle. Now, this mold here, I don't know why. I thought it was my mat had a hump, but it's the mold. But I'm going to go with it because I'm hoping the resin will push the hump down. What they did, when they package silicone molds sometimes, they just stick them together and poke them in the bag. Well, it, it deforms them sometimes. It makes them have a hump or a bend or a crease. I don't know why they do it, but they do. Whoever packages these silicone molds, please stop forcing them in a bag. Please. It messes them up. So now then, what I'm going to do is mix up my resin. And we're going to, I think I'm just going to do clear with a little bit of this crushed crystal. Ain't that pretty? But I might do them all different. I might do something else. I want y'all to look at that. That's just gorgeous. <laughs> um, I might do something else. Now, with also with this mesh rope, you can make you some foil. Look at that. Just cut it up, put it in a little jar, and you can use it in resin. Mm-hmm. Sure can. There's a lot, of, a lot of things you can do with this stuff here. Use it for reefs. You can put beads on it for a bracelet. Wouldn't that be a pretty bracelet with some, maybe some pearls on it or something? Look at that. It's cute. Don't look at my arm, girly. Yeah. All right, babies. I'll be back. Let me go get my colors and stuff and get my resin mixed. And I'll be back and show you how I'm going to make these stay down. Okay? I thought about putting my little, my little Drizzy inserts in there. But I, I kind of like these. An ornament within an ornament. You know, something different. Okay. I'll be back. All right, babies. Got my resin mixed up. I finally remembered to use my um, resin mixer by Less Resin. Now, I always go in with a stick and scrape the sides. Make sure it's good and mixed up. And it is. I don't ever see any stringies. But I always check. <laughs> I always check. Now I'm going to let it sit there and uh, it's got just a few bubbles in it. And the reason it does because I have my mixer on high. Honey, I mean business. Look here. I'll turn it on. Turn it wide open. And that little sucker will go, go, go. It's got to be charged. And then I just take alcohol and wipe this off. And it comes with this size and it comes with that size for a big cup. Okay? So that's clean. All right, now then, let me show you what I'm going to do with my little, my little bits, if I can. I have got to, uh, y'all, I clean this table a hundred times a day, and <laughs> I'm telling you, I still can't find nothing. I'm looking for my UV varnish, and it should be right here. Girly, would you go get you some business, honey? Go on now. Go on, go on. Go on, get you some business. Where is my UV varnish? I bet it's right right here. Right in my face. Okay. So, we've got the UV varnish. This right here. UV varnish sealer. I love this stuff. I love it. And it comes with this. And pour you some in this little bottle. And then you have a brush. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the backs with this UV varnish sealer. Put it on my mold and hit it with the UV light, and that'll keep it from going anywhere. Okay? And that's what I'm going to do. There we are. Don't take much. 
Now, put it where you want it. Come on. Come on, Boondock. Boondock hand. Now, this is the mold that's... They messed up. Dick on it. All right, now. Put it like that. I'm going to hold it down. And I'm just going to hit around it. Then I'm going to pick it up and hit it from the bottom. Okay? But it should cure through because this is almost clear. It's just got a little bit of uh, diamond dust in it. So it should. Oh my God, it's crooked. <sighs> and it did. It did. I'll be back when I get them all UV'd. All right, babies, got it all uv down this here. I might have should have UV'd these, but I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go with it. That way we'll know if um, we need to UV it next time. So, I got some of this. This is shaved ice that Miss Tazalyn sent me. And I'm just going to put some off up in here. Okay? Just a little because I don't want it to take over. Now, let's see if I can... Yeah, I'm not prepared, am I? Oh, Lord. Now, I've just seen a spoon. I'm going to have to find my metal spoon. I don't know where it went. But anyway, I'm going to get a little bit of this, and I'm just going to shake it off in here. Just like that. Easy peasy simple. Okay. And it sticks to it. Now it might float once the resin hits it. And if it does, hey, it's okay. It can't be ugly, can it? Okay, now we got that. Now I found some stars. This is Hemway uh, Silver Holographic Stars. I think they're pretty. Look at that. And I thought it'd be pretty off up in here. So what I'm going to do is take my spoon and just shake me some stars off up in here. Uh-oh, I got something on the end of this spoon. Anyway, shake me some stars in here. Just like that. Just a few. That'd be pretty in a shaker mold, wouldn't it? Them stars are pretty. All right, now then, shake my spoon off. Give it a good, give it a little wipe. All right, by Hemway, I found gold holographic fiber strands. I was just looking for some, like some filler, you know. So I'm gonna put that in here with the red. Just get me a little spoonful and just shake it off in here. Now, I'm still not sure about this mesh. If it's gonna, I hope it works. But if it don't, I'll just take it out and we'll move on. Ain't that right, babies? All right, now then. And I found this green foil that I had just cut up. I cut it up. And it's different colors. Ain't that pretty? Now I'm just gonna a little bit off up and listen. I'm just going to shake. Well, I might better not. Mm -mm -mm. My hands are very heavy. I'll be done shook it everywhere. Just some different color little foils. And put that off up in that one. Oh, I love that. I might put a little bit more. There we go. Okay. Now then we got that. We got our fillers in. Now what we're going to do is take our resin. I'm going to give it one more stir around because I don't know. I'm paranoid. I know it's mixed because I don't see anything in there. But now I'm going to take my stick. And I'm going to go right over the top of the ornament first. And then I'm just going to let it spread to the sides. I pray this resin pushes this mold down. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep going till it makes it to that mesh mesh rope and I'm hoping the mesh rope does not float and then if I need any more filler I can put me some in there I figured it would float but it sure don't look like it's going to Hmm. Ain't that something? Okay. I'm going to go to the next one and do the same thing. 
Y'all, I love my little shaker coaster. I love it. I was so happy when it turned out. Okay. I'll do it till it touches the sides. One more. All right. I'm just going to keep going. Those ornaments may not have floated, but I didn't want to take the chance. I'm going to pour. I'm pouring. There we go. Now, my mesh is coming up. But maybe when the resin gets on the inside of it, it'll sink. Because there's holes in this mesh, you see. Hope I mix up enough resin. And then we're gonna hold that down and let the resin sink into the rope because it will. And there it goes, y'all. I think it's gonna work. I think it's gonna work. Yay! It's working. It's working. We just got to let the resin sink into the rope. Pop bubble. It's working, babies. <sighs> I'm excited. And there's it's not causing too many bubbles. I'm surprised. I figured it would. With it having all these little holes in it, I figured it would be a lot of bubbles, but it's not. Okay, let's go a little bit more. Mm -hmm. It's working, babies. Oh, I'm so excited. Let me get this little bub. Now I'm going to come back and do some filler in this bulbs, in the top of the bulbs. Just as soon as I get them full, may have to mix up some more resin. Come on, baby. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to. I mixed up uh, six ounces, I think. Now you can take the resin and go over the top of your rope if you want. Oh, this one, this one's full, almost. Almost. See, it's crooked. This one is kind of warped. Let me. Oh, this one's full. I'm just gonna go over the rope. With a little bit of resin. Here we go. Now this one's full too. So, I guess I did mix up enough. Okay. Now, of course, this is going to be the front of your ornament. I'm just going to move these little stars around. Try not to incorporate too many bubbles. go. There we go. They're all full, babies. There's one little bubble. One little bubble. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to watch them. Make sure it's up to the edge. I want to spread these out just a little bit. Okay, okay, I still got a little bit of resin left. Huh. But that's it, they're full. So, I just want to go over this one. This one don't look, don't look right for some reason. 
There we go. There we go. Hey! Just enough. Scraping the bottom. So there we are. Now all I'm going to do is put some, um, I don't know why this one's taking more, but it is, ain't it? I'm going to take some of the filler and put it up here in the bow part. Hey, we may have some 3D ornaments with this rope, what y'all thinking about it, what you think, alright, there we go, that's the end of that, I'm going to have to baby them for a little bit with the bubbles, let me spray them, 70% uh, isopropyl alcohol, okay, now, Let's get our, let me wipe my little, little gloves, because, of course, that resin on it. Oh, I see the tip of that one just a little bit. Let me see if I can scrape a little bit more. Just a hair. There we go. Wow. That was a lot more, wasn't it? I didn't realize it was that. <gasps> Wanda. Wanda. Move, girly. Okay. Okay. That's that. Now, here we go with the fillers. This one had this pretty foil that I cut up in there. It's got green and pink and all different colors in it. And it's pretty. Honey, I'll be mixing up. I'm telling y'all, I got some mixes over there. I'm going to put a little bit right here where it don't have any. But I don't want to cover my ornament up. Because I want that ornament to shine through. Okay. Now this might not need much. So I'm just going to put it up here in the in the bulb. In the little screw part. Don't torch. <laughs> Don't torch. You will torch your mash rope. You'll burn it. Okay. I don't know why I stuck this spoon. But I did. Too late now. Let me wipe it. Okay. Now I'm going to put a little bit more. Just to get this bulb covered. I mean, whatever this is. You know, the screw part that goes up in the ceiling socket. There we are. That might be too much. I don't know. But I'm going to take my little, my little pointy stick. It's hard, you see. It's not one of those flimsy ones. And you can take your stick and just... Move them around, poke them down. And there it is. Now, actually, the other side of this mold is the front, okay? The other side definitely is the front, okay? So, just keep that in mind. I think I'm good with, with that middle part. So I'm just going to put some stars up here in this thingy dingy. Alright. I've got that. I'm going to poke them down just a little bit. So they'll be covered in resin. 
pull it over, spread them out, and there we go. That's that. That's that, babies. That's that, babies. Okay. Now, next is our... What is that? It's got to be this. Wow, look. The color is popping, ain't it? That's what throwed me off. Oh, wee. Mm -mm -mm. That's some pretty stuff. Put a little bit right there because there's not any. I love this stuff. I'll be done covered my ornament up. <laughs> I'll be done covered it up, babies. All right, darlings, that's that. That's that. Now I'm just going to baby them. And make sure all my little stuff is poked under the resin. Move it around if I want. Because I don't want it, you know, in thick. Parts. And then I'll spray it with my isopropyl alcohol and let it sit. Just gonna poke, 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 poke. I think they're gonna be pretty. What y'all think? And poke, poke. Okay. There we are. With that one. Now we're going to poke, poke on this. And get it away from our ornament. Because we don't want it covered up. Pop any bubbles that you see. Oh, that's so pretty. And we're going to let it sit. I do think I need a little bit more resin, though, on this one. So, we'll mix up a little bit more. This one's good. Is good. So, get my stars pushed down. There we are. Oh, that's a big bubble. All right, babies. I will see y'all in a little bit. And I think I'm going to turn my mat on for a couple of hours and then uh, come cut it off and let it cool for 30 minutes. But first, I got to mix up some more resin. All right, darlings. I'll see y'all in a few minutes. All right, baby dolls. They're ready. I had the heat mat on, I don't know, two hours, I think. Maybe a little longer because I was busy trying to clean this table off and stuff. But I think they're ready. I think. Let's just see. Oh, wow. Now, if I'd have put my ornament in there <laughs> like it was supposed to go, this is the right side. I realized that I didn't put my ornaments in right. That this side, the bottom is the front. I didn't realize it. But they did come out pretty with this rope, didn't they? And this is the other side. And that, oh man. But I think they're cute. Pretty little ornament, ain't it? 
and it's just so pretty. Now the rope does stick out a little bit. Hairs, they're pretty. They're gonna go on your tree, honey babies. Look at this one. Oh, look at that one. Now, there's the ornament with the pretty little stars in it. And the fall. Oh, that fall. That fall's dancing, ain't it? Does it dance on this side? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Pretty. So, that's what you can do with your fall rope. Look at that one. Now, that one can go either way. Look at that pretty. Because it's white on both sides. See? It's white on both sides. I think they're cute. What do y'all think? Do y'all like them? I like them. Let me wipe my hand. I had mica powder on them. I'm making me some skulls. I love these molds. I love them. Thank you, Miss uh, Betty. I love them, baby. Look at that. You can see the candy in that one. Now, this one is the right side, too. I think they're gorgeous. I think they're just gorgeous. Either way. So, there you go, my little machines. Some little ornaments now. I think I'm going to take this silver pen. I might be messing up. I hope I don't mess them up because they are pretty just like they are. But I kind of want to put... A silver ring on these white ones and gold on these two just to see if I don't like it I can take an alcohol swab and wipe it off and you may not be able to see it anyway huh all depends on what side you hang it don't it babies mm -hmm. oh yeah I think I'm gonna like it I think I'm going to like it. Just to give it a little pop. Where it won't be so, you know. Uh-oh. Don't run out yet, please. Please, don't run Oh, we're getting thunderstorms. Honey, hey, baby, it's uh, storming outside. Girlie was outside. She just has to go outside every, seems like, ten minutes. But I opened that door. <laughs> she flew in. She's scared of thunder. Bless her sweet little heart. Cookie, she's not. Cookie ain't scared. I don't know if Cookie's scared of anything. To tell you the truth. My little old Cookie. I love my babies. They keep me company. Well, there's the, the silver. I think they're cute. If you want to, you can put a ring, I guess, here. On this side, right here. Around that. I don't know how that's going to work. It'll probably slide. Oh, yeah. See? It's going to slide. So, anyway, there's the silver. Now, let's do one in the gold. And see how that looks. Let's do this one. Oh, this pan feels empty. I might can get a little bit out of it. So if it does flip over on your tree, don't know why it would, but if it does, then you'll see this side and it'll have some gold on it. Mm-hmm. You know, I could put a backing on this, but I'm not. I'm leaving it just like it is. There's the gold. I like it. I like it. Did I miss a spot? Yeah. There we go. There we go. Oh, crap. I missed a spot down here. What's going on? What's going on, baby? My pen is about empty. But anyway, there's the gold. Let me know what y'all think about these. And let me know if y'all want to see how I made this. 
the shaker mold. I mean, shaker ornament. And I made it out of this. Mm -hmm. So let me know if you want to know how I made it. And I'll sure do a video on it. Okay? Alright, darlings. I love y'all very much. And uh, thank y'all for watching. And let's do the blessing board. Let's do the prayer card. Let's do the prayer card first. Then we'll do the blessing board. Okay? Oh, yeah. I got a blessing today from Miss Stacy Snorf. Let me show y'all that. And Miss Stacy Snorf said, These will make some great Halloween crafts. Love you, my sister from Stacy Snorf. Look at my baby. Got to put her in the mark of coconut. Mm -hmm. And she sent me black. Y'all know that foil that I have? She sent me the black. I didn't have black. I love this stuff. It rubs on anything real good. So let's get us a prayer card. And then we're going to do the blessing board. Let's get some one off the top here. Put this back in here because I don't want nothing on my cards. Alright, darlings. Here it is. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. Amen. You sure can. And this one says, I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans for welfare and not for evil. To give you a future and a hope. Look at that. I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans for welfare and not for evil to give you a future and a hope. Wow. Love that one. I love that one. Mm -hmm. Okay, babies, here we go. On the blessing board for September is Miss Tasseline Silvercat, Miss Betty Nicholson, Miss Stacy Snorf, and, um, um, Miss Debbie, because I have not used, when I don't, if, if y'all, you know, Miss Debbie sent me the tumblers, my honey, I use them all the time. I switch between um, the tumblers Miss Stacy sent me and the ones that Miss Debbie sent me. So, Miss Debbie's going on the blessing board too, because I have not used everything that was in that blessing box that she sent me yet. You see what I'm saying? And, these foils here, there's a whole box full. I'm going to be on giveaway Wednesday, some of these is going to be in the blessing that I'm sending you on the giveaway Wednesday. Uh-huh, because it's a box full, honey. So, Miss Debbie is on the uh, September blessing board. Yes, she is. Miss Deborah, Deborah Joke. I love you. All right. Now, on the shout-outs, Cosmic Carol Creations, India Brady Art, Art by Me by Andrew Walker, Naptime Creations, a Cabbage Patch Soap, Beaten Crazy Custom Creations, Miss Tiger Moth Resins. Y'all go watch her. She's so funny. I just love her. I just love her. She is so funny. Did I say Cabbage Patch Soap? Art by Me by Andrew Walker? I hope I did. Okay, now then. Continue prayers on the prayer board. Miss Stacy's uh, Mama and her friend Dave. Mr. Dave had a stroke, so let's pray that he gets well soon and everything gets back to normal for Mr. Dave, okay? That's Miss Stacy's friend, okay? Uh, Miss Carol, she's the one that has Cosmic Carol Creations. She had a bad fall, so please, baby, let's pray for Miss Carol. Miss India, for her eye. Miss Christina Hutchinson's daughter is having a baby in February, and it's a high-risk pregnancy. So, please, let's um, pray for Miss Christina's daughter. Miss Rose and her mama. See what I did? Crazy me. Y'all know I can't remember nothing. But it's, it's coming back to me because it was like a, you know, it was the same every day. So, Miss Rose and her mama, please pray for them. Their house burnt down. So, please continue prayers for Miss Rose and her mama. Okay, babies? I don't know why I raced up. I just, September 1st, I raced the whole board. Or the second. One of them days. I just erased it like I knew what I, I was doing. I hadn't wrote down nothing. So, Miss Rose, please forgive me, honey. Please, baby, forgive me. I'm trying to remember who, Miss Bonnie, 
Miss Bonnie, I re now, I remember Miss Bonnie. Miss Prayers for Miss Bonnie. It, it'll, all, it'll come back to me, darlings. But anyway, please, if I have forgot, please, please send me an email, a message, something. And let me know that you need to go back on that prayer board. Okay, darlings. All right, babies. Now, uh, who bought me a coffee in August? Was Miss Barb Ridings, Miss Jennifer Meeks, Miss Betty Nicholson, Miss Vicki Bowers, Miss Brenda Hickerson, Miss Margaret Woods, and Miss, mm, I can't even say this like, Miss Maura Sharp and Maya, her grandbaby. Thank y'all so much for the blessings and the thumbs up and the buying me a coffee and watching and subscribing. Thank you to my new subscribers. Thank y'all for joining the best YouTube family you'll ever be a part of. I promise. Honey, I got the best YouTube family ever. They'll pray for you. They'll love you. They'll just love you. They're just the sweetest. Just the sweetest and I love them all. So, welcome to the, my new babies. Okay? I want to show y'all this. I use this um, Less Resin Chameleon Powder. And I want to look at this skull. Look at that. This is the one with the top hat. And look, he's got an a eyeglass. Look at that. <laughs> is that not the cutest doggone little skull you ever seen? I done made a few of them. But look at that powder. I didn't think it was covering the mold, but yeah, it did. Y'all, y'all know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make me a bracelet. Look at that. And I made me a bunch of little little miniature skulls. Uh-huh. All right, darlings, I'm gonna let y'all go. And I love y'all. And thank you so much for everything. Sharing, commenting. I love all your comments. Thank you, Miss Paula, for commenting. I missed you. And I love you. All right, Miss Debbie. I'm still waiting. Miss Debbie Jo, I'm still waiting on your email, love machine, to let me know what happened to your messages. Okay? So let me know, baby. And if I forgot anything, please, please, y'all know I'm old. Okay? I'm old. And I forget stuff. So please, don't hesitate. Please send me an email or a message and let me know. Please let me know, okay? I don't know what I was thinking when I just erased that whole board. I just don't know. And y'all know what? It hit me. Let me raise y'all up. I'm talking to these coasters. Hey, babies. It hit me after I erased it. Let me get you out of my mouth. It's storming. Oh, it's not got dark outside. Hey, y'all, excuse me. I'm a hot mess today. Hot mess. I don't care. I'm going to go in here and fry me a pork chop and Fix me some uh, corn salad. I ain't had corn salad in a minute, and I'm craving it. I want it. So, uh, anyway, I think that's it. If I forgot anything, babies, please, please, babies, don't get upset with me. Please don't get upset with me because I don't mean to forget. I don't. I don't mean it. I promise. I, I don't. So, just please let me know, okay? Just let me know, babies. All right, I love y'all very much, and thank y'all for everything, and thank y'all for being a part of my YouTube family. I appreciate it so, so very much. I wish there was a, a bigger word than thank you, because thank you just is not enough. It's not enough. Mm -mm. I'm going to go for my big tea to butt and start crying. So y'all have a blessed rest of your day, and I'm going to go in here fix me something to eat. And I hope y'all enjoyed the uh, video and I hope it gave you inspiration on how to use molds in a different way. You know? Especially this one. I'm proud of this one. I'm so proud of it. I'm proud of it. I just love it. So let me know if you want to see a video on that. Okay? I don't just don't want to do a video that y'all don't want to see. You know what I'm saying? Might be boring to you. So anyway, I, I'm through talking. And, uh, oh, thank you for using my affiliate links. Thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate it so much. Yes, I do. Very, very, very much. Okay. Now then, 
I'm going to go. And uh, I'll see y'all on the next video, okay? And I'm going to be watching y'all's comments to see if y'all want to see a video on this. All right? I love y'all. Peace, love, praise, and happiness, babies. Bye.